My name is Doris Harrell. I'm a Christian minister. And I just want to share with you that everything that the world is going through has already been written. And there is a way out. In Matthew 10, 28, the Bible tells us that we are not to fear those that can kill your body, but can they cannot touch your soul. If you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it doesn't matter what happens to you after that. If you receive what he did, you are going straight to heaven. To be absent from the body, that means death, is to be present with the Lord when you are born again. And so the time is now to say yes to what Jesus Christ did. And we all know what he did. Everyone in the whole world knows what the cross is about. That Jesus Christ came deliberately to die for the sins of the whole world. And so uh, it says that God so loved the world that whosoever uh, calls on him, on Jesus, shall be saved. He so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, that means you, no matter how old you are, no matter what you've done, God is not imputing your sins to you anymore. He came to deliver you from sin and from death. So God sent his son so that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So that even if you die, as soon as you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and save you, you confess with your mouth that he is Lord, that he did come to save man and ask him to be your savior, he will come in immediately. And even if a minute after that, if you die, you will be going to heaven. So the scripture is Matthew 10, 28. Do not fear those that can kill your body. Your body is here only on a temporary basis. That is, you may make it to 100 at, at, at the most. That's a temporary basis, but there is an everlasting life. And if you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that God will give you everlasting life so that you do not have to fear those who will kill you, but they cannot touch your soul. So I am encouraging you all, no matter where you are, who you are, what age you are, what you've done, Jesus Christ died for your sin. He died for the sins of the whole world. And so, Lord, I thank you that your words are going out and they will not return unto you void, but they will accomplish that which you set them out to do. That whoever hears this word will call on the name of Jesus and be saved, even if it's at the last minute. Thank you, Lord. Amen.